going on guys it's fatty mancy here from real results fitness and in this video i'm going to take you through a upper workout day but the difference is that today we're going to the mecca of bodybuilding So it's my boy Rio's birthday today, and he wanted to go to uh, to the Mecca in Venice. For those of you that don't know what the Mecca is, the Mecca of bodybuilding is um, the Gold's Gym in Venice. And that's like where it all originated. Arnold used to work out back in the day. And uh, if you guys haven't seen Pumping Iron, go watch that little docudrama. Uh, and you'll know what I'm talking about, but I'm gonna go over there for the day and uh, Hang out. We'll probably go eat at firehouse. I'm assuming after and uh, Yeah, should be a uh, should be a fun day. That gym is huge. There's like Four parts to that gym um, You'll see what I mean, but I'm actually heading over there right now So uh, I'll catch you guys in the gym What's up guys, Fatty Mancy here from Real Results Fitness and in this video what I want to discuss a little bit and touch on is the topic of minding your own business. Um, uh, kind of backtracking, I know I told you guys I was going to do a full upper workout day but I actually just decided to join uh, Rio and Brandon, which will be later on their exercise and their training plan for this day so it's kind of nice to just vary from what I normally do and uh, just follow somebody else's plan but anyways uh, the topic I did want to discuss in this video is just minding your own business and obviously this could apply to life in general but since we're talking about the gym and working out we're going to just focus on that and the reason I wanted to talk about it is twofold um, <clears throat> one on my Instagram story when I went here I was posting some videos and some pictures of the Mecca and a friend uh, messaged me and asked me like if it's intimidating over there or do you feel like people are looking at you or judging you or watching you and surprisingly it's not at all and for a place like this you would expect to see a lot of people staring at you or looking at you or watching you trying to judge you for your form or, or whatever the case may be and uh, it was actually quite the opposite um, even at my local gym, I'll notice, and I've been going there for years, even at my local gym, I'll notice that I have eyes on me, you know, whether, whether it be a, you know, flattering thing that they think you know what you're talking about or, or, or bigger than a normal person or whatnot, whether it's that or whether it's, they just, you know, give you the stink eye for whatever reason. But I was actually watching, um, I wanted to do the, this video because I was watching uh, Wayne's video, his own one cron on YouTube. You guys uh, want to follow him. But I was watching his video and and he was saying how the, the fitness industry is, is so like toxic now, which it really, really is. You know, between all the BS that's going around as far as like BS products that are being sold and the way people market themselves. Uh, I personally think they just, people are making kind of a mockery of it. It's cool to have fun and, and do goofy things in the gym, of course, because you know, we're all just there to have fun at the end of the day. But it's one thing to do that and it's another thing to, you know, basically strive for attention and that's the way you make your business or your, or your living. Um, in my humble opinion, uh, kind of between that 
and people just judging you or watching you. Like I said, even at my local gym, I'll get the stink eye sometimes, and I've been going there for years, but um, <clears throat> it's kind of sad that it has to happen, and if you are a seasoned gym goer, I do ask that you kind of just look the other way and uh, kind of try to take the high road because, um, as Wayne has said in that video, is, you know, you could really ruin someone's day just by a look you give to somebody or or even like, um, you know, say they, they hit a personal record or something in the gym and and you start trolling them for their their grammar or whatever it is but uh, that's kind of all I really wanted to talk about in this video is just kind of um, focusing on yourself and not what other people are doing or how other people are training necessarily you know it's okay to want to try and help somebody out of the goodness of your heart but you know don't be a dick about it <laughs> Um, at the end of the day, we're all in there to get better. So if someone's in there to get better and they're doing something wrong, try and correct them. If not, don't be a dick. Just mind your own business. Um, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, let me know in the comments if you've been on either end. If you've been on the end that you... Uh, have helped people or you've been on the end where you know you're you're kind of talking shit you know because we've all been there uh i i could say honestly i've i've done it myself and it's it's not a good thing because at the end of the day like i said we're all and then if you notice somebody doing that you know cut them off and just tell them like you know what's the point of this what are you getting out of this i just wanted to mention that because i noticed it a lot lately and watching uh that uh wayne's video and having my friend ask that um i thought it'd be a good topic of conversation in in the uh, mecca of bodybuilding so that's it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next video